I want to ask you this. Are you on the side of Barbara Streisand, Neil Young, Joni Mitchell, and all these people that are calling for Joe Rogan's head? Do you want to see Whoopi Goldberg thrown off of The View? Let me tell you what my opinion on all of this is. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to another sit down with Michael Francis. Hope everybody is doing well. All is okay on this end. Blessed as usual. Thank you very much for those of you that, you know, always are sending me well wishes. I appreciate that very much, but uh, everything's blessed. Praise God for that. I have to address something. I mean, this is, uh, you know, this is getting to a point where it's really getting ridiculous and it's really infringing upon our freedoms. We have to talk about it. This whole Joe Rogan controversy. I mean, look, it's reaching a point where people can't even express their views. I mean, what are these platforms for if not to express our views? Whether we like them or not, whether you like them or not. That's what a democracy is all about, being able to express your views. Now, you're saying it's misinformation. A lot of people are. Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand demanded, demanded Spotify to take Joe Rogan off the air or she's going to remove all of her songs. Well, who is she to do that? Who does she really think she is? That's basically extortion. You're trying to extort Spotify in a different way. I mean, you're not going to threaten to break their legs, but you're extorting them in a way. You do this or else. You know, Neil Young, the same thing. Joni Mitchell, the same thing. Because he expressed his views, you consider that misinformation? And therefore, you're demanding that Joe Rogan lose his platform, that Spotify give up a $100 million client that they have on their platform? Really? I mean, who do these people think they are? I don't get it. I don't understand, you know, does their status, their privilege, the fact that they can act and sing, that gives them this kind of a, a power that they think that they can, you know, demand that other people lose their livelihood because they express uh, information that they don't agree with. And let's talk about misinformation for a minute. How much misinformation are we getting on a daily basis out of our government leaders? How much misinformation about the pandemic has come out uh, from the White House? Both administrations, from the White House, daily, on a daily basis, we're getting misinformation. How much has come out of Congress? How much has come out of all of these platforms on YouTube? Do you want to silence all of them? There's so much misinformation that's out there. You know what it is? When you have to silence these people, it's almost like degrading to us. Like we can't analyze what they're saying, do our own research, come to our own conclusions. We're too stupid. We have to think, Barbara Streisand, like you think. We have to believe what you believe, Joni Mitchell. Neil Young, and all those that are calling for Joe Rogan's head. If we don't conform to your way of thought, well, we're not capable of, of coming to a conclusion, a rational conclusion on our own. That's what you're saying to us. Now, if you want to remove your stuff, remove it. Who cares? Remove it. But don't demand that someone else be taken off the air. Don't think you're better than someone else because you're not Barbara Streisand, nor are you Neil Young, nor are you Joni Mitchell. You're not. You know, and let's, let's take Rogan's case uh, in, in particular. Look, as far as misinformation, let's deal with that first. I've watched Joe Rogan. He has a lot of people on there, and he talks about, he, he gets information from them, and he debates it with them. He talks about it. He agrees. He disagrees. Okay? He's not a puppet. He talks, and he gets information out of people for all of us to listen to and to arrive at our own conclusions. Remember, not what any one person says is fact. You arrive at your own conclusions. CNN, come on, how many people, how, they try to impose our views on us all the time. Fox News, the same thing. All of the news outlets, 
They're not even journalists anymore. They're op-eds. They're people with giving us opinions on something that we're supposed to conform to. Well, no, that's not how it goes. We can listen and we can make up our own minds. But when you try to silence these people and say, no, we don't agree with you, therefore you can't say it. Come on. This is the, the age of misinformation. You know, I want to talk about the, the pandemic. For, and, and, and let's get back to Rogan. How many times does the guy have to apologize? He apologized for offending anyone. He said he never wanted to cause controversy. He's only trying to get information out there through the various guests that he puts on his platform. What's wrong with that? I want to hear it. I want to make up my own mind. And let's address what he said about the N-word. Uh, obviously, that was wrong, 100% wrong. We're not supposed to use that. We don't use that. It is degrading. It's like when somebody calls me a WAP or a guinea. I don't like it. We don't hear that as much, but I don't like it. It's disrespectful, and it shouldn't be used. And Rogan said that. He admitted it. He apologized to it. He tried to explain in what context it was taken. But he doesn't strike me as a guy that you know, has any racial bias. That's me. That's how I feel. Okay, but he's apologized for it. It was several years ago. He's apologized several times. Do you want to destroy the guy's income, destroy the guy's livelihood, cut him off, threaten Spotify because of that? Come on, we all make mistakes in our life. You know, it depends how you react to those mistakes. The guy didn't, you know, point his nose up in the air and say, hey, too bad, I'll say whatever the heck I want to say. He said, I made a mistake, and he apologized for it. And what about Whoopi Goldberg's remarks? You know, listen, do you cancel her? I don't think so. She expressed her opinion. We don't agree with it. But do you cancel her? Do you knock her off the air? And I'm not a fan of hers, I'll be honest with you. But I don't believe you knock her off the air. I don't believe you cancel her. Okay, so they, you know, they gave her a slap on the wrist. They suspended her for a couple of weeks. Okay, they got to appease the public. They got to appease those that are jumping up and down and screaming over this. I understand. They have platforms also that they have to protect. So they appease the public. But should she be canceled? No. She has an opinion, whether we agree with it or not. She's allowed to have an opinion, whether we like it or not. And sometimes opinions are hurtful. Oftentimes they're hurtful. But come on, develop some skin, some thick skin, and deal with it. When you talk about misinformation, how much misinformation has come out of Joe Biden, our president? Is anybody calling to impeach him? Fortunately, it's not Trump or they would have tried to impeach him 20 times already, okay? What about Dr. Fauci? Masks don't help, masks do help. Why? I mean, the guy has given us so much misinformation. We've heard it time and time and time again during this pandemic. And you know what? Some of it is not meant to hurt us. Some of it, I think, is meant to compromise us. That's my opinion. You want to cancel me because I'm giving you my opinion? Look, I look at the government and sometimes I'm kind of cynical, but I have a reason to be. I grew up differently. I understand the government operations, how it works. I was close to politicians. I get it. Not all of you have had that experience. I don't take at face value when they're telling me something. They lie all the time. They lie on video. They get caught all the time. But we just say, hey, it's just politics. It's not just politics. It's lying. And it's lying not to help us. It's lying to protect and help themselves and increase their platforms and their positions and to get their agenda across so they can impose it upon us. I want to read something about the pandemic, a, a, a study that just came down from John Hopkins University about the lockdowns. No evidence that lockdowns, school closures, border closures, limiting gatherings have had a noticeable effect on COVID-19 mortality. Lockdowns are, quote, ill-founded and should be rejected as a pandemic policy instrument. That just came down. All the lockdowns, they claim, okay, were worthless. As a matter of fact, they hurt us. They're hurting our kids. Masks on our kids are hurting us. Is it misinformation? I don't know. But I want to hear it. I want to make up my own mind. I want to draw my own conclusions. I don't want to shut John Hopkins down. Now, you know what? There will be people that will want to try to do that. I'm sure the government is not happy about that because the government imposed the lockdowns. And if there was damage as a result of the lockdowns, they don't want that information to get out. So what are they going to try to do? Suppress the John Hopkins uh, uh, study? Why? This is America. We're supposed to be allowed to express our views. 
respectfully, hopefully, intelligently, hopefully, but we're supposed to be allowed to get information out there. So am I speaking up in support of Joe Rogan? Absolutely. Absolutely. Am I speaking up in support of Spotify's position not to cancel Joe Rogan? Yes. Not to cancel uh, Whoopi Goldberg? Yes. I believe she belongs in her position, and I don't agree with 99% of what she says, but they shouldn't cancel her. What's good for one is good for the other. We have to stop this, people. You know, one thing that you don't understand, a lot of you don't understand, and how do I know this? I know from the comments that I get. When you give the government an inch, they don't give it back. They try to take a foot, a yard. They don't give it back. The more you allow them to suppress or rein in on our freedom, the more they will try to do that. I don't know, think you understand how the government works. They do not give it back. And let me talk about one last thing before I get off. This is something that the hypocrisy in this is just mind-boggling. What's happening on our southern border. Now, I know this for a fact because I've spoken to border control agents from the state of Texas. And what they have told me is that, yes, secret flights are definitely happening. They're bringing these immigrants illegally over the border and they're dispersing them throughout the country. They're not been tested for COVID. We don't know if they have COVID. They're coming here illegally. Over 2 million of them to this point. And what's even more disturbing, what's even more disturbing than that, is that the Border Patrol agents told me they're not getting even 10% of the illegal drugs that are crossing the border. Not even 10%. When you put that together with 100,000 deaths last year from opioid overdoses, what does that tell you? Does it not tell you about the hypocrisy that's coming out of this White House? Don't compare it to Trump, please. This is not about Trump. This is about what's currently happening in our country right now and for the past year. Crossing the border. Trump wasn't responsible for that. He tried to shut it out. So if you want to you rag on Trump, do it in other things, but not on this. I take it personal because we were personally impacted by it in our family. And many of you know that. Hypocrisy? Misinformation? Come on. Where's our vice president, who's the czar of border control? Really? What has she done? What has Joe Biden done but allow this to happen? And let me tell you the scheme here, so in case you don't get it, when he put it together with the Voting Rights Act that the Democrats were trying to pass, understand this. They're bringing as many people over the border as they possibly can, okay, knowing that they're going to vote Democrats so that they can pad the voting booths during the elections. That's it, plain and simple. And if you don't see it, people, I hope you do now. That's it. There's no other reason. Don't think it's for humanitarian reasons. It's not. Don't think these people care. Because if they cared, if Nancy Pelosi really cared, the $500 million that she's worth, she'd spread it out uh, for humanitarian reasons. I don't think she's doing that, nor are many of the other politicians on both sides of the, of the aisle. So please, don't let them sell you that bill of goods. I'll have a lot more to say about this when a mafia democracy comes out. But look, that's it for today. I'm supporting Joe Rogan. OK, I'm, I'm, I'm anti cancel culture. They should stop doing this. This is America. We have freedom of a speech. It's in our Constitution. It's one of the most treasured amendments that we have. One of the most treasured rights that we have is freedom of speech. So people wise up to this. Don't allow them to do it. And Joe Rogan, I just hope they keep you on the air and I hope Spotify stays strong. And if not, you're going to have plenty of other options because you're great at what you do. So. That's it for today. Please subscribe. It's going up and we appreciate it. It shows that, that you love the content. It motivates to do the best possible job that we can. I have a great team behind us. MichaelFrancis.com, Inner Circle, join my crew. It's packed right now, but we can accept a lot more. We're putting some great content in there. The Zoom calls are wonderful. People are supporting and helping one another on a daily basis. You should see the testimonials we have coming out of the Inner Circle. I'm not going to break the bank, trust me. We, we're mindful of, of uh, people's finances at this point in time. We have to do our job, and it costs money to create this content. So that's it for today. How do I always leave you? Same way. Be safe, be healthy, God bless all of you. Yes, I'll see you next time.